What is up fam? Hope you're having a great day today. Welcome to my life movie. Today marks something that will go down in history. And I'm not sure how it's going to work out, but it's going to happen. That's right. Omar Gosh TV is staying with his beloved clowns. If you've never watched my videos before, you don't know that I have a house that is full of clowns. I don't think there's a house out there that exists with as many clowns as I have in this house. It happens to be my Airbnb, and yes, it's haunted. But yeah, I have all kinds of clowns, happy clowns, sad clowns, terrifying clowns, and yes, haunted clowns. I've always wanted to make an overnight video here, but under different circumstances. Now, how did I get suckered into staying here? Well, I've been working all day, all night, editing. You can see I'm editing on two computers right there. I did make a video about a week ago where I shared with you a vision that I had, a horrifying vision. And yes, I'm a little sleepy eyed right now. It's late. So I am not changing the clown cottage. Some people think that I am. I am not. I am just converting this section right here, which is still going to be with some clowns, but I'm going to make this area and my background an 80s theme type of horror, you know, like Friday the 13th, Jason, just something that's dear to me in my childhood. I have a bunch of things being delivered probably in the next month. That's why it's going to be a process, but most of it should be arriving this week. I got Lost Boys poster, other clowns from outer space, and I got one over there too. A Predator poster. This whole wall is going to be covered in 1980s theme horror posters and other 1980s decor too. Got an Elm Street sign, yeah. Got this like Pac-Man lunchbox. Most of it's gonna be horror, but, but there's gonna be a couple little 80s things that I used to love as a kid. You know, like these things right here. A light bright original Pennywise. Got the DeLorean, hoo hoo hoo. And I found this TV in the garbage. That's right, if you missed that video, I have a whole video on finding this and yes it does work i got these like heads on amazon i thought they were going to be styrofoam heads but they're like heavy duty plastic heads now you may be wondering what are you going to do with that well i got a michael myers mask coming in the mail also got a jason mask and a freddy krueger mask and i'm going to put them over you know these faces right here I did get a Ghostbusters car, but I have to put it together. Got a couple minutes to spare. My computers are working hard for me in the background. What do you say you and I put this thing together? Let's do this. it have ecto-1 and it wasn't really that difficult I've, I've done some model cars back in the day they have a lot of different parts I think this thing had like 20 parts it wasn't wasn't that bad got this on Amazon for like I think 30 bucks I didn't even know ecto-1 had white walls but yeah you even put those on I kind of sucked at the sticker part but I did my best yeah, I put the license plate kind of crooked there. Yeah, I'm really just wanting this for decoration. Thinking about maybe putting it like here or something. Like right there. Ooh, I like that. I put the DeLorean right next to it. I'll put this up here. I don't know, we'll figure it out, but I'm still wondering if I should remove this because trust me when I say I have a crap ton of posters that I'm putting on this wall and all different sizes and I'm gonna have them kind of overlapping each other it's gonna be awesome so far yeah I only have like three and I got a ton of these sizes this is actually made out of tin and I'm gonna have a bunch of these too. These are like eight by 12. I'm getting so tired. It is 2.15 in the morning. So this is the most time I have ever spent here at the Clown Cottage. I mean, I've spent some time, don't get me wrong, doing work on the inside. And But I mean, as far as just chilling, I mean, I'm not really chilling, I am working. Just spending time in here, like quiet time. Now I have to 
share with you some of the things that I've experienced so far, me being here alone. Now, there was a time where I was in the kitchen, I think I was making myself some food, and I saw this like white mist, and it like passed me by like really fast. And then I was using the bathroom, this was earlier this afternoon, and I saw almost a mist that was similar, except this time it was black, and it was going into that bedroom, and it was like through the floor. And I, I thought at first, maybe the fan is on and maybe I'm seeing a reflection of light. I look again and I see it again. Now I am not gonna be recording myself sleeping, but I am gonna have my camera handy next to me in case I do experience something, I could just you know, quickly grab it. I do eventually want to record myself sleeping in the middle of the night. Reason why I don't wanna do it tonight is because if I end up catching something, it may keep me from staying here. And I, I need to stay here. I need to get some work done. So I'm gonna wait for that. I, I've had so many people stay here before. I haven't had anybody have any bad experiences. They were, they're all positive. But one of the reasons I am a little worried is because I did bring something back for me from my trip that is very haunted and I believe it may have an attachment. This is pure speculation though. Let's go. <gasps> it was like a black mist, like that. It wasn't like the white mist I saw earlier that was on the corner of my eye. This was like, I was looking dead at it. Then it did it again. It was like a, I don't know. I ain't never seen anything like that before. First time ever sleeping here. Everybody says the bed's comfy, so hopefully it is. Kind of freaked out a second ago. I laid down, heard a noise. I got up and I see this figure at the end of the hallway. And then I noticed it was Pennywise. Hey Pennywise, you can't get me tonight. You stay over there, okay? I don't know why, but ever since I put that mask on screw, I just, I feel like it's gonna come alive and like eat me. Like it's terrifying. Hey screw, do you like your new mask? Are you sure? Yeah, I'm just, <gasps> okay, I guess that's not gonna, Stay on. Well, I was gonna take that off anyways. I had a couple things fall off the walls. That fell off. I gotta hang, rehang up some, some things. Boy, is it spooky in the clown cottage. Do not move. I don't think I would sleep in this room with that guy looking at me all night. Like, I think he's bringing back the fear of clowns that I used to have as a child. <sighs> okay, <laughs> I'm gonna have a nightmare now. I will, uh, I'll catch you in a little bit. Can't get any more 80s enough. I'm watching Weekend at Bernie's 2. I've been wanting to watch this for so long. Finally found it. <sighs> I'm sleeping with Pennywise looking at me. I used to have Pennywise right there. It's kind of terrifying. I ain't gonna lie. I wasn't even thinking when I put Pennywise in the corner there. Like I can imagine like some people waking up in the middle of the night and being like, <gasps> you know, you see this like six foot figure kind of hovering over you. I haven't really experienced anything other than what I showed you. It's a cool place. I may never want to leave the clown cottage. Or who knows, I may never come back. All right, fam, it is morning time. I didn't get much sleep, not gonna lie, probably four hours tops, but I'm thankful that I had a place to rest, even if it was scary. Just a little bit ago, Tiffany was here and she brought me some clothes. It wasn't the plan to spend the night here. So yeah, I had my, my clothes from yesterday. So yeah, I did shower in the Pennywise shower. We're supposed to be getting a Halloween costume for Boston. So we're gonna do that, maybe get some more stuff for the Clown Cottage. I did have a little bit of a mix up. So when I made my video here about my whole vision, now my vision is mainly around my office. Okay, like having my background. My background is supposed to be 1980s vintage horror. Now I know 1980s isn't really vintage, but for I guess younger folks it is. 
it's even weird hearing that 90s stuff is vintage or even early 2000s stuff is vintage. But the clowns are not going anywhere. I am still having my clown cottage. It's still very much the clown cottage. It will always be a clown cottage. But I think once I get this place back on Airbnb again, I may keep this as the 1980s horror theme or I may move it to my house that I am going to be building in tomorrow because I am going to have an office there. But I mean, who knows? I may just actually really, I mean, so far I, I'm loving having my own little quiet area. I mean, I may never put it on Airbnb again because I love the work that I'm able to get done when I'm by myself and not being distracted by my dogs or my bird in the background making a ton of noises, which I love my bird. I miss my bird. But yes, I wanted to clear that confusion up because this is still going to be the clown cottage mixed with some 1980s horror. My daughter got me an Omar Gosh toaster that makes Omar Gosh toast. Check this out. Isn't this cool? <laughs> my daughter thought it'd be funny for Christmas literally just burned the crap out of my hand right now so i was warming up some water for my instant oatmeal right here and i, I should have known this because you don't put metal or foil in the microwave the thing is for me i thought it was just a color so mr pennywise right here and his little slick self decided to burn me yeah i did not know that that was actual like aluminum or, or metal it didn't spark or anything. It just got really hot. Ow, ow, ow. Pretty sure there's some skin on the handle. Should say, you'll burn too. What up, Boston? Hola. So what do you want to be for Halloween? Michael Myers. Michael Myers? Yeah. What are the chances? 1980s vintage horror. Oh, I need that. I need that. Just found some amazing stuff for our 1980s vintage horror theme. Check this out. What? This one's my favorite. Beetlejuice. Oh, check this out. They got all kinds of Beetlejuice stuff. <laughs> Boston could be Max for Halloween. What? Look. What? <laughs> <laughs> Boston looks like one of them. He looks like he's melting. No, he looks like one of them big head, like bobble heads. <laughs> That's good right there. He looks like a white hawk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be the boss. How about Freddy Krueger? Look, you don't even have to wear a mask. You just put a hat on. I'm kind of freaking out right now because there is so much 80s vintage horror going on here at Spirit Halloween. We got Beetlejuice masks, Chucky. I'm, I should like dress screw as Beetlejuice. There's even some killer clowns from outer space. This is awesome. Picked up a hitchhiker. We just bought so much stuff. I brought a bought a Freddy Krueger hand. So I'm thinking I may make that entire room still with clowns though too. I may get another mannequin and I'm gonna put a killer clowns costume on him. I have here somewhere. Also got a Beetlejuice mask. This is gonna be awesome. Right still get to have the whole clown theme going on, but a 1980s clown. How about that? All right, fam. So that was a couple of days ago, in case you're wondering. You know, I was a little bit behind on some vlogging, so wanted to share that tidbit with you. Look at the duckies. Aren't they cute? We brought Tiffany's mom. She's back there for the first time kayaking, and we're in the Wikiwachi River. Decided to check out some of the canals. If you want to hang out with us on a peaceful day, you're more than welcome. Oh, boy. See the ducks, mom? They're so cute. Weren't there three of them? Oh, there's like a gazillion fish up there. Whoa, cool. Where are you guys going? I want a friend. Hey, it was Tiffany. Hey, babe. You having a good time? You having a good time? Wanna go for some? Not right here. Fish everywhere. Do you think they go poop in the water? What do you think? They don't have bathrooms. <laughs> <laughs> They don't have little fishy porta potties. I'm always showing this house. It's called the Mermaid Home, Pam's Mermaid Home. But they did this new art. And it's so cute. Did such a nice job. You can actually rent this house if you want. Just call that number. Tell them that Omar sent you. Hopefully they give me a free night stay. 
for sending a couple people their way. Not that they need it. I'm sure they don't. Whoa. Uh, uh. Water is so pretty. Look at the fish over there. Those are mullets. I went a little too far ahead. And this is proof that we have a little bit of a current going on right now. We've already gone upstream about two miles, which is fantastic. Getting closer to the aquifer right now, like this water's coming up from a spring, which that's where I proposed to Tiffany. Ah, careful with this boy is. Oh gosh, this boy is. A little harder going upstream than downstream. Why are you so far back? I'm waiting on my mom. <laughs> it's Sue's first time. You want to turn back around? <laughs> don't fall in careful with the spoid as ah! come to the conclusion that after two miles of paddling upstream we're just going to relax now and enjoy the fruits of our labor and that's to chill on this current but sometimes if you get a little too comfy you'll end up towards the tree of spoid is it a lot better yes it's a lot easier <laughs> beautiful day here in Florida. Hey, Mr. Bird. How you doing? Did you catch any fish today? Pretty sure you just said yes. A lot of you I know be coming to Florida and visiting like Disney World, Orlando, Universal. If you ever make it out that way, you know, if you ever do an Orlando trip, this is about, I wanna say an hour and 45 minutes away. If you enjoy nature, if you wanna do some fun things that don't cost a whole lot of money, come out here. You can park at Rogers Park, I think for $10 and they have a kayak rental place right across the way. Tiffany spotted something up ahead. She thinks it may be a manatee. Whoa, what? What? Oh, it's a baby head. What the heck? <laughs> it's just a log. Look at this cool guy right here. Whoa. There's a lot of turtles out here. Yeah, that one's basking right there. Bro, look, there's like a baby leg. His body's up here. The body is? The body and another head. I wonder what that's all about. Kind of creepy. Okay, yeah, that is a little strange. Let me know here in the comments. Is it just somebody being funny? Or does this have some sort of significance? Oh no. One of his eyes are out. Yeah, that's weird. Okay, I didn't want to get that close. There's a freaking spider on its head. Look at that. There's a whole family of yellow bellies over there. Look at that. I don't think that's a venomous snake. I think it's one of those banded water snakes. Hey, look, I had a little friend hanging out in here with me. How fun. Hi, little guy. Our right, fam, we had an amazing day. I know Tiffany's mom did too. Actually, the only reason I know that is because she just texted me right now and said she had an awesome day. Anyways, thank you so much for being a part of my day. And I am probably in the next couple days going to share with you what my clown cottage is coming out like. I did get a lot of the stuff that I ordered and it's it's coming out really nice. So you're not going to want to miss those videos. Got to go for now before you leave. Give me a kiss. Peace.